a Sudanese asylum seeker has become the first to be granted the right to mount a legal challenge against his deportation to Rwanda in a fresh threat to Rishi Sunak's flagship policy. The migrant known only as SM, who claimed asylum in the UK more than two years ago, was among the first to be detained last month ahead of the deportation to Rwanda on one of the first flights scheduled for next month. Even the flight was first scheduled for 1st of July, later it was shifted to 24th of July, three weeks after, of which that time will still be extended because even after the election, three weeks is not enough, there will be a whole lot of negotiations ongoing, a whole lot of agreements and disagreements before whosoever that won the election will now form their government and it takes a whole lot and you don't even know if the new incoming party that might win the election, if it is not the party of the Prime Minister, the Conservatives, if they will continue or agree with this Rwanda plan or if they want to adjust it or scrap it completely. So that is it. A high court judge has now allowed him to challenge his deportation on the basis that he is a torture victim who could be at risk of serious or irreversible harm if deported to the East African country. You see, this plan has not even started. Look at all the problems he's generating for the United Kingdom. Look at all the taxpayers' money that will be wasted on court sitting people, challenging, taking legal action and all that. So you can imagine what will come in the nearby future when people start getting or being deported to Rwanda. What will then happen on the both side? A high court judge has now allowed him to do that. And the, even the high court judge is saying that other asylum seekers who find themselves under the same situation can even join him in filing their suit. So we, that is to say that as it is now, the judge is giving the people the right to exercise their fundamental human rights to go to court and present their argument or provide their evidences. SM lawyers will also seek at the hearing to, to take place from July 9 to 12 to quash home office guidance which directs officials not to consider the risk of onward removal to another country from Rwanda. If the court rejects his individual claim, SM's legal team will ask the court to rule that Mr. Sunak's safety of Rwanda Act breaches the European Convention on Human Rights. You see? So if the court did not find the argument of these asylum seekers' claims, and decide to quash it, his lawyers are equally pleading, will plead with the court to see this Prime Minister's Rwanda's Act that it breaches the European Convention on Human Rights. So, there's a whole lot of drama going to be playing out in the court between the 9th of July and the 12th, in which the court will be sitting and be hearing the case of these asylum seekers. And this will even encourage other asylum seekers now to join this SM asylum seeker from Sudan to try their own luck to see if it will work for them. So it is the first legal challenge by an individual migrant against Mr. Sunak's new law. The act blocked systemic claims against the policy but allowed individuals to lodge appeals against their removal. So that is what it is. So we will see between the 9th of July, we will see if the court will accept the argument of this asylum seeker from Sudan or many that will join him and if not, if his uh, lawyers or defendants now when this argument that for their first argument is not accepted by the court, if the court will accept their second argument that this Rwanda Act bridges the European Union fundamental human rights or human rights on human rights. So we will see, time will tell, fingers crossed.